So Jimmy Butler has some of the best signature animations in NBA 2K24. But it's not what you think. It's not that step back jumper. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Jimmy Butler's signature animations and why some of them are super underrated for shot creators in the game. So in this video, I'm going to show you which signature animations you should use and how to use Jimmy Butler to maximize his great set of animations. So the first thing you want to know is that Jimmy Butler's got normal dribble style, but that doesn't matter. That dribble style is great for executing this crossover combos. So just hold the left stick up left or up right after a crossover while holding turbo to do that excellent crossover launch. But in my opinion, Jimmy Butler's escape dribble animations are some of the best in the game because of how it creates a lot of distance. Hold R2 and tap the right stick up left or up right to the left or to the right or down left or down right. These animations are great in generating distance creating that movement which will force your defender to commit. He also has this great switch back combo going right to left or left to right on the right stick that combos well with his escape jumpers. So take a look at this, a simple hesitation escape into a crossover launch is going to be enough especially if you get your defender to commit to following you in one direction, attacking them with that crossover launch and getting to the basket. So the main thing with Jimmy's escape dribble animations are because they generate a lot of distance, create a lot of space, it will force your defender to make a decision. Here, I'm comboing up the different escape dribbles and switch back combos to poke at my defender, see what kind of reaction that I'm getting, I see him stepping up, therefore I launch with a crossover launch and get to the basket for an easy two. Not only that, the speed boosts out of his escape dribble animations are really fast. It's almost like that Steph Curry quick direction, ch change of pace and change of direction. Now the behind the back escape and the switch back escape, you have to combo with a hesitation dribble before holding the left stick towards the left or to the right. Go watch my speed boost video to know how to do these things. But more importantly, these escape dribbles and attack crossovers combo really well with Jimmy Butler's side hop jumper. Especially if you execute a tween escape going to his right, immediately hold R2 and hold the right stick to the right. That is one of the best hop jumpers. You also have great hop jumpers going down left and down right, but I'll show you later on why some of Jimmy's step back jumpers you know, has a little challenge to them and we'll work around that later. And the important thing is to set up some of Jimmy Butler's hop jumpers is you have to generate a reaction out of your defender. So in this situation, a tween escape to the left forces JB to follow Jimmy Butler and then I just hold R2 and hold the right stick to the right to combo into that side hop jumper. So these escape dribble moves and a lot of these different switchbacks and space generating exaggerated dribble moves are what I like to call pokes. These pokes will force a reaction out of your defender and then you counter appropriately. But there is a key problem with Jimmy Butler's step backs and side hop jumpers. They are easy to contest if you don't set them up correctly. Sometimes even if you set them up correctly, just a simple step up, a poor read out of the reaction from that poke and we're easily contested. So the thing I want to look out for is my defender's footwork. If I see him pressing up, that gives me the signal to use that crossover launch to counter my defender. Take a look at this right here. After the behind the back escape, I see, J uh, I see JB stepping up. I just counter with an easy crossover launch and get to the basket. But there's one underrated dribble animation you should combo with Jimmy Butler and that's the in and out dribble, which is done by tapping the right stick up left or up right towards your ball hand. This animation is so underrated in combination with a lot of Jimmy's escape dribbles and step backs because it will reset your body and then allow you to combo really well into Jimmy's step back eliminating the hitch animation that will get you in trouble. This in and out animation is what I call a reset. Take a look at what it does to Jimmy Butler's body position. It puts him at an aggressive position towards the basket and from there you can combo with your different crossover launches, escape dribbles, or even your step back animations. So what the in and out animation does, it eliminates one of the weaknesses of Jimmy Butler's step back jumper and that's the exaggerated hitch that you will get out of his step backs. Take a look at how fluid and seamless the in and out combo goes with different step back jumpers and the escape dribble animations. And the last set of step back jumper animations are your crossover to step back jumper animations which are done by holding R2 holding the right stick to the left or to the right towards the opposite direction of your ball hand and it will give you this crossover animation. 
It's not my favorite step back jumper from Jimmy Butler precisely because the wind up and the setup takes too long. These will often get you into trouble even if you set them up the right way. Now if you're going to the left or to the right, I recommend holding R2 and holding the right stick down to just do a step back away from the baseline. That's not to say that this step back jumper won't work under the right circumstance. It's just that even if things go right, people will still be able to catch up to you. As you can see right here, I already generated an insane amount of space to begin with. Now the step back jumper was easily boxed if you don't set it up the right way or if your defender knows what to sit on. So there you have it. I think Jimmy Butler's best signature animations are his escape dribble animations. Now with the normal dribble style, his signature size up can be useful, but it's not really my favorite. And if you use this in combination with his step back jumpers, you will become an elite shot creator with Jimmy Butler in NBA 2K24.